What's up guys? Today I want to talk multitaskers. These are products that can and are actually made to be used in multiple different ways across your face and body actually in some of these cases and I say that because so many of the products in our collection can be used in different ways. An eyeshadow as blush, using your lipstick as a cheek stain, like the list could go on and we would be here all day if that's what we were focusing on here today. But instead I wanted to talk explicitly about products that say they are dual purpose or multi-purpose in many cases because it's felt like so often in makeup a product will say you know you can use it a hundred different ways but it's really only good if you use it in one particular way or it's like subpar in all of the ways that you can use it and so these are products that are excellent no matter how you want to use them so whether you're a minimalist that likes to have a few products that can do a whole lot or you're looking to add some essentials to your on-the-go bags your purses your travel bags I have some picks for you let's go ahead and get started first starting off with the product that kind of started this all, I talked about the Kiko Milano Green Me Lips and Cheeks. These are chubby little pencils that you can use, I mean, as the name suggests, on both your lips and cheeks. This is a product that does both so well. So you apply it to your lips and it gives you an incredibly opaque pigmentation with just one swipe, a really healthy, balmy feel, like a substantial and moisturizing feel to the lips, dries down a little bit while still leaving a balmy sheen. And yet when you use it on your cheeks, or at least when I have and over the bases that I have used it on, it really melts in flawlessly. And while it doesn't dry down to a total powder finish, it doesn't stay sticky or tacky like a lot of dual purpose lip and cheek products can, especially one with like a healthy, glowy, balmy finish. You would think this would kind of sit on top of the cheek area or mess up your makeup as you're applying it, but not at all. It's not waxy. It's just like a little bit thicker and more emollient so you get the great pigmentation across lips and cheeks but you're not gonna have to worry about like it feeling heavy or disturbing your makeup underneath. This is just a product that you can actually count on using on both your lips and cheeks and not looking like a hot mess any which way. <laughs> While I'm talking about pencils let's cover a few more. First starting with the Makeup Forever Artist Color Pencils. I reviewed two of these right when they first came out. I only have this one here, the turquoise. This is called 300 or Absolute Emerald here today because the other one is more of a it's called like something chestnut. So naturally it's more of a nude mauve sort of shade that's really perfect for the eyes, lips, and cheeks, which is exactly how these are supposed to be used. Kind of an all-in-one sort of pencil. Very easy to blend. They have great lasting power pretty much no matter where you use them. But because the other one is a little bit more wearable for me to use across my face on a daily basis, that one went into a purse so I could use it all the time. And so now I can no longer find it. But if you want to see both of these in action and all the ways I just talked about, you can definitely go check out that video. Um, and in the same way, the Linda Hallberg crayons are multi-use as well. So again, eyes, lips, face. I bought the flash crayon set though. So this is a really beautiful combination of glimmery metallic sort of shades, more earth tones. And so I really do wear these more across the eye area as all over eye pencils in the waterline. I have actually used a bronze. This is the shade Whipple Flash. It's a little bit less glittery and more metallic. And so this one I actually have used to outline my lips. Sometimes filling it, but more often than not, I use it as an outer lip line and then I go in with something lighter to get that really full, plump lip effect. But these I find are even a little bit creamier than the Makeup Forever and they really dry down to a totally budge proof finish. The Makeup Forever blends really nicely and easily, takes a little bit more layering up, I think. And once it's set, it's set, but the Linda Hallberg are just a little bit creamier. And she not only has a ton of different colors, but finishes as well. I'm I'm not sure if the Makeup Forever pencils come in like metallic or shimmery shades, whereas Linda has like primary colors, metallic shades, like I mentioned here, like she has a little bit of everything under the sun. Great variety and product quality in both collections, just some subtle differences between the two. And if you're new to multitaskers of all the formats I'm about to talk about today, these are probably the easiest in my opinion. Having a more narrow pencil like this can be a little bit harder when you're blending it in across your face, as opposed to something like a chunky crayon where you cover more area, it's a little bit softer, easier to blend. These are a little bit more challenging in that way, but especially when it comes to the eyes, you get more precision, 
foundation, yet they're still really easy to blend and blur out if you want a super easy but dramatic looking smoky eye or smoky liner or precise liner. Like these can kind of do it all as opposed to some of these other formats I'm gonna talk about where you have to be comfy working with some other consistencies. Speaking of, let's go ahead and talk about my pick that a few of you guys have said you're so interested in but might be a little more intimidated by. They're the Danessa Myricks Color Fix. This is another collection where she has every shade and finish you could imagine and it is meant to be used in every which way possible and that is why she has everything from skin tones if you want to use it as a base, a concealer, a brow shade, to more colorful primaries, mattes, shimmers, metallics if you want to use them on your eyes as blush, as lip colors. Like these are incredible multitaskers with serious lasting power but they do, they are cream and some of these are a little bit of a thinner cream so you just have to be more confident or comfortable working with a cream format as opposed to a powder or a harder pencil. Especially if you want to do some mixing, you want to mix some shades up or draw a liner and you don't want to have to draw product straight from the tube, you get a palette, something like that. It's just can add an additional step or two depending on how you want to work with these. But once you do, you will have a favorite product for life because they can do everything. I have a ton of shades of these and I've actually already done a video about all of them if you want to go check it out so I won't go too in depth here. The other one I wanted to mention really quickly that won't be for everyone but it's a product that I personally love so I think it's worth mentioning is from the same color fix line but these are the glazes. Now these are less budge proof naturally because they're basically glosses but they're glosses that are safe for the lips, uh, the face, the eyes so I really love using these for creating a beautiful glossy eye that actually stays Put, which I know sounds very weird and of course it's not transfer proof when you put a layer of this over top but I've tried a couple of different eye bases because glossy eyes have you know been on trend for years now but I have yet to encounter one that actually that doesn't crease the second that you actually apply it whether you're wearing it by itself or over another product like every single one would just sink into the lines in my eyes except for these. So I really like them because they don't move around on the lid and there are actually a couple of different finishes too. So there's the clear. I think this is a great one for everyone to get because it's a classic. Classic if you're using it as a lip gloss alone or over another lip product like I am here today. I also love using this as a cheek highlight. Very, very thin layer. A little goes a long way with this, especially if you're using it on your skin. Um, it's not what I'm wearing here today. This is the Beauty Bakery, a champagne blush palette. And then again, just a really great basic sheen across the lids if you're interested in it. Um, however, she also has some glittery finishes as well. One is Kaleidoscope. This has kind of multicolored glitter in it. And the other is called Infinity, which has a black milky tint to it. And then again, with those multicolored shimmers in it, which is super fun and a little bit grungy. So really love all of these. Again, I think these are gonna be less for everyone just because not everyone's gonna be into a glossy lid. But if we're talking about multitaskers, I can't leave them out. And now for my last pick, the Lancome Le Monochromatique collection. I most recently talked about these my Sephora VIB sale recommendations video but then it also showed how to use them in a favorite like heat proof sweat proof cream makeup tutorial these are seriously budge proof and once again you can use them everywhere eyes lips face the three shades that I have are a la mode and it not only makes a beautiful eyeshadow but depending on your skin tone a really nice glowy bronzer as well and I didn't think that it would be well suited for my skin tone but I actually tried it the other day and it's pretty nice as a bronzer. Use a very light hand. These are super, super pigmented, especially with some of the other shades I'm going to talk about. But yeah, you can use them very lightly just dusting across the skin to get a soft stained looking hue or really build it up to get true to color that's true to the pan. And by the way, these have kind of a soft mousse or putty like texture similar to ColourPop Super Shock Shadows or the equivalent they have in their face products. This is a really similar consistency to that. I would say it dries down even more so than those. Like it turns turns almost immediately into a powder finish, which can be a little tricky on the lips. Of all the products I'm gonna, I talked about here today, these definitely cling to lip texture the most, so they might be less forgiving if you have drier or flaky kind of lips going on, just because they do dry down to that powder. Um, the next shade I have to talk about is Soiree. This is an incredible berry shade. No shimmer in this one, which I like that they have a variety of textures in this collection as well. So no shimmer in this beautiful berry shade. Again, great for the lips and the cheeks 
cheeks, but of course you can use it on the eyes as well. And then my last pick is another great all over shade. This is the shade Magique. And this, even though it looks like a frosty white in the pan, is actually more of an iridescent pinky purple sort of situation. So use it to highlight the inner corner, center of you, or just a wash of color across the lid or as a highlight on the cheeks or in the center of the lips. Like this is definitely one that can and I think is really well suited for using all over the face if you're just looking for a little bit of extra texture and dimension. Alrighty, so those are my picks. I'd love to hear yours. Please share them down in the comments below. And besides that, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye, guys.